is really kind of fun to do in the kitchen you can do this in the kitchen you can do it on the back porch if you want to um, is to see how uh, water can move through substances it's called adhesion and you can really see it with these paper towels I've got this fun experiment that you can do and there's all sorts of springboards to do as a result of it what you need is about seven glasses or mason jars and uh, food coloring because food coloring is not just for food, it's for science too. Um, we're gonna look at just the primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And with red, yellow, and blue, you can mix every color of the rainbow. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do two things at once. We're gonna mix the colors to get the colors of the rainbow, and we're gonna see adhesion in action. So what we do is you get your seven glasses and you fill well, about an inch in every other glass. Leaving the middle ones empty. Then, whoopsie, you're gonna put red, a couple drops of red food coloring in the end. Yellow in the next one. Blue in the next one. And red in the next one. Just so we have all the combinations. So when we mix red and blue, we're gonna get purple. Red and green, we're gonna, I mean red and yellow, you're gonna from blue and yellow, you're gonna get green, and red and yellow, you're gonna get orange. But we're gonna see this too. So what I did is I took a regular sheet of paper towel cut it in half, and then cut it in half again, just to get that shape. And then fold it into a, like a tube, you can curve it into a tube like this, and then seal the edges, just like that. Then you get your tube, and you're gonna put one end in the wet, and then the dry end in the empty one. And you're gonna do that for each one, and you can see it starting to happen already. What happens with paper towels, is the water wants to move from where there's a lot of water to where there's less water. It's called, and it moves up the paper towel, and that's called adhesion. So you wanna put a paper towel tube in, branching each one. And then, basically, you have to wait. And then we'll see what happens in 15, 20 minutes or so. But while you're doing that, I have other experiments you can do that use adhesion. <clears throat> have here last one going here so if you have coffee filters you can do the same thing and this is a technique that we that is called chromatography so basically you take a, um, a coffee filter um, you can do find a white one or a naturally colored one and then you can use markers of any color I'm going to use this purple one here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in the bottom So we've got purple ink on that side. I'm gonna go on the other side too. I'm gonna take a glass and I'm gonna put water in the glass. And then I'm gonna set the coffee filter in it just so the tip is hitting the water. And you can see it start to spread already. Again, that's adhesion in action. But what's happening while the water moves up the coffee filter is that it's carrying the molecules of ink as well. And actually forensic scientists use this kind of technique all the time. It's called chromatography. And eventually it's gonna pull up in such a way that it's gonna separate the components that make up the color of this marker. And every single marker or pen has its own signature of, of design as it spreads up. So you're gonna see this here. You can see it starting to move already up. So you can see it start to move up already. And you can see the different colors starting to separate out. I'm seeing some blue here at the top. 
And this is a fun thing, again, to set up and set aside. You can do different colors, and then when you're done, you can turn these into, you open them up and you can see what the patterns are, but then you can take that, put them together, and you can make these cool little chromatography coffee filter flowers. Another really fun one you can do with food coloring, an oldie but a goodie, you get a glass of water and a stalk of celery, put it in, and then put in a few drops of food coloring. I'm gonna use blue, because it's a nice contrast. And then I'm gonna let it sit and see what happens over time. So adhesion is really cool because it uh, it shows how the water molecules here are moving from a place that it's a very concentrated area of water molecules up into a place that is less concentrated. And these holes in the paper towel actually kind of suck the water up. You can see it moving up here, and eventually this water is going to move whoop, up over and, and come into the glass next door. And the way we're going to be able to tell is we know that there's no water in here. But over time, there will be some water that's pulled in, and it'll be interesting to see what colors we get. Time has passed. Time has passed and you can tell because the water from this particular glass got sucked up through this paper towel and dumped in here. And then it, well, there was some in this and that came across and look, that's mixed to make purple. And you move down here, some of the blue came across here, landed in here, and some of the yellow came across here and that mixed up to be green. And then you've got yellow coming from this one and red coming from this one and you got an orange color. And if we wait longer, the water will become even in every single glass because everything wants to be equal. So set it up in a place and let it do its thing. It's pretty cool. And where are we with our celery? Well, it's only been an hour or so, but you can see, you can see the little columns that are pulling up that blue. It's the xylem and the phloem, and those are the sort of blood vessels in a plant. So I pulled this filter out, and look, you can see that the colors of the ink are moving from a dark purple, you can see sort of a, almost a greenish there, and a dark blue into a reddish purple, um, which is really kind of cool. And then you can take this and tear it up and you've got that. You can really see, you can really see those changes now. So that's a few things you can do with food coloring sitting on the counter. And uh, you can make chromatography, it could be forensic science, chromatography, turn them into a little flower when it's done. Turn it up and put it in a little flower. You could do that. You can make a rainbow. Uh, another cool thing that you can do with water in a glass is you can actually get a chopstick and then uh, fill it at different levels and you'll get different tones. What's kind of cool is if you do it like this and set it up so that you've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, then you can also compose songs if you want to, if you get them to the right tones and you make up some songs, you can write them down on your piece of paper and you can say, you know, red, red, yellow, green, blue. So that's another fun thing to do. But there we go. That's the edition of What Now for today. 